Genetic code. The genetic code is the set of rules used by living cells to translate information encoded within genetic material, DNA or mRNA sequences, into proteins. Translation is accomplished by the ribosome, which links amino acids in an order specified by messenger RNA, mRNA, using transfer RNA, TRNA, molecules to carry amino acids and to read the mRNA three nucleotides at a time. The genetic code is highly similar among all organisms and can be expressed in a simple table with 64 entries. The code defines how sequences of nucleotide triplets, called codons, specify which amino acid will be added next during protein synthesis. With some exceptions, a three nucleotide codon in a nucleic acid sequence specifies a single amino acid. The vast majority of genes are encoded with a single scheme. See the RNA codon table. That scheme is often referred to as the canonical or standard genetic code, or simply the genetic code, though variant codes, such as in human mitochondria, exist. While the genetic code determines a protein's amino acid sequence, other genomic regions determine when and where these proteins are produced according to various gene regulatory codes. Efforts to understand how proteins are encoded began after DNA's structure was discovered in 1953. George Gamow postulated that sets of three bases must employ to encode the 20 standard amino acids used by living cells to build proteins, which would allow a maximum of 64 amino acids. The Crick, Brenner, Barnett and Watts Tobin experiment first demonstrated that codons consist of three DNA bases. Marshall Nirenberg and Heinrich J. Mitte were the first to reveal the nature of a codon in 1961. They used a cell free system to translate a polyuracil RNA sequence i.e., UUU, and discovered that the polypeptide that they had synthesized consisted of only the amino acid phenylalanine. They thereby deduced that the codon U specified the amino acid phenylalanine. This was followed by experiments in Severo Ochoa's laboratory that demonstrated that the polyadenine RNA sequence, A, coded for the polypeptide polylysine and that the polycytosine RNA sequence, CCCCC, coded for the polypeptide polyproline. Therefore, the codon AAA specified the amino acid lysine, and the codon CCC specified the amino acid proline. Using various copolymers most of the remaining codons were then determined. Subsequent work by Hargobe and Korana identified the rest of the genetic code. Shortly thereafter, Robert W. Hawley determined the structure of transfer RNA, TRNA, the adapter molecule that facilitates the process of translating RNA into protein. This work was based upon Ochoa's earlier studies, yielding the latter the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1959 for work on the enzymology of RNA synthesis. Extending this work, Nirenberg and Philip Leder revealed the code's triplet nature and deciphered its codons. In these experiments, various combinations of MRNA were passed through a filter that contained ribosomes, the components of cells that translate RNA into protein. Unique triplets promoted the binding of specific turnus to the ribosome. Leder and Nirenberg were able to determine the sequences of 54 out of 64 codons in their experiments. Korana, Holly, and Nirenberg received the 1968 Nobel for their work. The three stop codons were named by discoverers Richard Epstein and Charles Steinberg. Amber was named after their friend Harris Bernstein, whose last name means amber in German. The other two stop codons were named Ochre and Opal in order to keep the color names theme. In a broad academic audience, the concept of the evolution of the genetic code from the original and ambiguous genetic code to a well-defined, frozen, code with the repertoire of 20, plus 2, canonical amino acids is widely accepted. However, there are different opinions, concepts, approaches and ideas which is the best way to change it experimentally. Even models are proposed that predict entry points for synthetic amino acid invasion of the genetic code. Since 2001, 40 non-natural amino acids have been added into protein by creating a unique codon, recoding, and a corresponding transfer RNA, amino synthetase pair to encode it with diverse physico-chemical and biological properties in order to be used as a tool to exploring protein structure and function or to create novel or enhanced proteins. H. Murakami and M. Sisido extended some codons to have four and five bases. Stephen A. Benner constructed a functional 65th, in vivo, codon. In 2015 and Badiza, Diesel and co-workers reported the full substitution of all 20,899 tryptophan residues, UGG codons, with unnatural phenopyrrolalanine the genetic code of the bacteria Mescherichia coli.
In 2016 the first stable semi-synthetic organism was created. It was a single-cell bacterium with two synthetic bases, called X and Y. The bases survived cell division. In 2017, researchers in South Korea reported that they had engineered a mouse with an extended genetic code that can produce proteins with unnatural amino acid. A reading frame is defined by the initial triplet of nucleotides from which translation starts. It sets the frame for a run of successive, non-overlapping codons, which is known as an open reading frame, ORF. For example, the string 5 augig 3 C figure, if read from the first position, contains the codon SA, TGA, and ACG, if read from the second position, it contains the codons AT and GAA, and if read from the third position, it contains the codons ATG on DAAC. Every sequence can, thus, be read in its 5-3 direction in three reading frames, each producing a possibly distinct amino acid sequence, in the given example, LIS, K, TRP, W, THR, T, ASN, N, GLU, E, or MET, M, ASN, N, respectively, when translating with the vertebrate mitochondrial code. When DNA is double-stranded, six possible reading frames are defined. 3 in the forward orientation on one strand and 3 reverse on the opposite strand. Protein coding frames are defined by a start codon, usually the 1st August, ATG, codon in the RNA, DNA, sequence. In eukaryotes, ORFs and exons are often interrupted by entrance. Translation starts with a chain initiation codon or start codon. The start codon alone is not sufficient to begin the process. Nearby sequences such as the Scheindel Garno sequence and E. coli and initiation factors are also required to start translation. The most common start codon is August, which is read as methionine or, in bacteria, as formal methionine. Alternative start codons depending on the organism include GUG or UUG, these codons normally represent valine and leucine, respectively, but as start codons they are translated as methionine or formal methionine. The three stop codons have names, WAG is amber, UGA is opal, sometimes also called umber, and WA is ochre. Stop codons are also called termination or nonsense codons. They signal release of the nascent polypeptide from the ribosome because no cognate turn is anticodons complementary to these stop signals, allowing a release factor to bind to the ribosome instead. During the process of DNA replication, errors occasionally occur in the polymerization of the second strand. These errors, mutations, can affect an organism's phenotype, especially if they occur within the protein coding sequence of a gene. Error rates are typically one error in every 10 to 100 million bases, due to the proofreading ability of DNA polymerases. Missense mutations and nonsense mutations are examples of point mutations that can cause genetic diseases such as sickle cell disease and thalassemia respectively. Clinically important missense mutations generally change the properties of the coded amino acid residue among basic, acidic, polar or nonpolar states, whereas nonsense mutations result in a stop codon. Mutations that disrupt the reading frame sequence by indels, insertions or deletions, of a non-multiple of three nucleotide bases are known as frame shift mutations. These mutations usually result in a completely different translation from the original, and likely cause a stop codon to be read, which truncates the protein. These mutations may impair the protein's function and are thus rare in in vivo protein coding sequences. One reason inheritance of frame shift mutations is rare is that, if the protein being translated is essential for growth under the selective pressures the organism faces, absence of a functional protein may cause death before the organism becomes viable. Frame shift mutations may result in severe genetic diseases such as Tay-Sachs disease. Although most mutations that change protein sequences are harmful or neutral, some mutations have benefits. These mutations may enable the mutant organism to withstand particular environmental stresses better than wild-type organisms, or reproduce more quickly. In these cases a mutation will tend to become more common in a population through natural selection. Viruses that use RNA as their genetic material have rapid mutation rates, which can be an advantage, since these viruses thereby evolve rapidly, and thus evade the immune system defensive responses. In large populations of asexually reproducing organisms, for example, E. coli, multiple beneficial mutations may co-occur. This phenomenon is called clonal interference and causes competition among the mutations. Degeneracy is the redundancy of the genetic code. This term was given by Bernfield and Nirenberg. The genetic code has redundancy but no ambiguity, 
see the codon tables below for the full correlation. For example, although codons GAA and GAG both specify glutamic acid, redundancy, neither specifies anether amino acid, no ambiguity. The codons encoding one amino acid may differ in any of their three positions. For example, the amino acid leucine is specified by ura or kun, ua, uug, ku, kuk, ku, or kug. Codons, difference in the first or third position indicated using IAPAC notation, while the amino acid serine is specified by UCN or AG, UCA, UCG, UCC, UCU, AGU, or AGC. Codons, difference in the first, second, or third position. A practical consequence of redundancy is that errors in the third position of the triplet codon cause only a silent mutation or an error that would not affect the protein because the hydrophilicity or hydrophobicity is maintained by equivalent substitution of amino acids. For example, a codon of none, where n equals any nucleotide, tends to code for hydrophobic amino acids. NCN yields amino acid residues that are small in size and moderate in hydropathy. NAN encodes average size hydrophilic residues. The genetic code is so well structured for hydropathy that a mathematical analysis, singular value decomposition, of 12 variables 4 nucleotides x3 positions, yields a remarkable correlation, C equals 0.95, for predicting the hydropathy of the encoded amino acid directly from the triplet nucleotide sequence, without translation. Note in the table, below, 8 amino acids are not affected at all by mutations at the third position of the codon. Whereas in the figure above, a mutation at the second position is likely to cause a radical change in the physical chemical properties of the encoded amino acid. Nevertheless, changes in the first position of the codons are more important than changes in the second position on a global scale. The reason may be that charge reversal, from a positive to a negative charge or vice versa, can only occur upon mutations in the first position, but never upon changes in the second position of a codon. Such charge reversal may have dramatic consequences for the structure or function of a protein. This aspect may have been largely underestimated by previous studies. The frequency of codons, also known as codon usage bias, can vary from species to species with functional implications for the control of translation. The following codon usage table is for the human genome. The DNA codon table is essentially identical to that for RNA, but with U replaced by T. In some proteins, non-standard amino acids are substituted for standard stop codons, depending on associated signal sequences in the messenger RNA. For example, UGA can code for selenocysteine and WAG can code for pyrolyzine. Selenocysteine became to be seen as the 21st amino acid, and pyrolyzine as the 22nd. Unlike selenocysteine, pyrolyzine encoded WAG is translated with the participation of a dedicated amino acyltronosynthetase. Both selenocysteine and pyrolyzine may be present in the same organism. Although the genetic code is normally fixed in an organism, the achial prokaryote acid Ohalibium aeroboticum can expand its genetic code from 20 to 21 amino acids, by including pyrolyzine, under different conditions of growth. Variations on the standard code were predicted in the 1970s. The first was discovered in 1979, by researchers studying human mitochondrial genes. Many slight variants were discovered thereafter, including various alternative mitochondrial codes. These minor variants for example involve translation of codon UGA as tryptophan in mycoplasma species, and translation of CUG as a serine rather than leucine in yeasts of the CTG clade, such as Candida albicans. Because viruses must use the same genetic code as their hosts, Modifications to the standard genetic code could interfere with viral protein synthesizer functioning. However, viruses such as totaviruses have adapted to the host's genetic code modification. In bacteria and archaea, GUG and UAG are common start codons. In rare cases, certain proteins may use alternative start codons. Surprisingly, variations in the interpretation of the genetic code exist also in human nuclear encoded genes. In 2016, Researchers studying the translation of malate dehydrogenase found that in about 4% of the is encoding this enzyme the stop codon is naturally used to encode the amino acids tryptophan on arginine. This type of recoding is induced by a high ret through stop codon context and it is referred to as functional translational ret through. Variant genetic codes used by an organism can be inferred by identifying highly conserved genes encoded in that genome and comparing its codon usage to the amino acids in homologous proteins of other organisms. For example, 
The program Vossil infers a genetic code by searching which amino acids in homologous protein domains are most often aligned to every codon. The resulting amino acid probabilities for each codon are displayed in a genetic code logo, that also shows the support for a stop codon. Despite these differences, all known naturally occurring codes are very similar. The coding mechanism is the same for all organisms, three base codons, trina, ribosomes, single direction reading and translating single codons into single amino acids. The genetic code is a key part of the story of life, according to which self-replicating RNA molecules preceded life as we know it. The main hypothesis for life's origin is the RNA world hypothesis. Any model for the emergence of genetic code is intimately related to a model of the transfer from ribosomes, RNA enzymes, to proteins as the principal enzymes in cells. In line with the RNA world hypothesis, transfer RNA molecules appear to have evolved before modern amino acyl synthesis, so the latter cannot be part of the explanation of its patterns. A hypothetical randomly evolved genetic code further motivates a biochemical or evolutionary model for its origin. If amino acids were randomly assigned to triplet codons, there would be 1.5 times 10 possible genetic codes. This number is found by calculating the number of ways that 21 items, 20 amino acids plus on stop, can be placed in 64 bins, wherein each item is used at least once. However, the distribution of codon assignments in the genetic code is non-random. In particular, the genetic code clusters certain amino acid assignments. Amino acids that share the same biosynthetic pathway tend to have the same first base in their codons. This could be an evolutionary relic of an early, simpler genetic code with fewer amino acids that later evolved to code a larger set of amino acids. It could also reflect St. Eric and chemical properties that had another effect on the codon during its evolution. Amino acids with similar physical properties also tend to have similar codons, reducing the problems caused by point mutations and mistranslations. Given the non-random genetic triplet coding scheme, a tenable hypothesis for the origin of genetic code could address multiple aspects of the codon table, such as absence of codons for D-amino acids, secondary codon patterns for some amino acids, confinement of synonymous positions to third position, the small set of only 20 amino acids, instead of a number approaching 64, and the relation of stop codon patterns to amino acid coding patterns. Three main hypotheses address the origin of the genetic code. Many models belong to one of them or to a hybrid. Hypotheses have addressed a variety of scenarios. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.